Happy Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a South Central Michigan hayfield where a New Holland 1900 self-propelled forge harvester, marketed as the Whopper Chopper back in the 1980s, is harvesting haylage. In this video, we'll take a look at the machine's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear all this forge harvesting action. Sperry New Holland was one of the first farm equipment manufacturers to offer a self-propelled forge harvester when it rolled out its model SP818 in 1961. The company's self-propelled forge harvester design remained relatively unchanged from the late 1960s through the entire decade of the 1970s. Here we can see an example of one of those early self-propelled forge harvesters from Sperry New Holland, a 207 horsepower model 1880 chopping corn. The 1980s brought an entirely new line of self-propelled forge harvesters from Sperry New Holland, marketed as the Whopper Choppers. In 1980, New Holland introduced the new 325 horsepower Model 2100 Whopper Chopper. This machine was significantly larger than any other forge harvester the company had offered in the past and was larger than any of its competitors' models as well. The 2100 was the first self-propelled forge harvester to offer a six-row corn head. Most self-propelled forge harvesters at the start of the 1980s had the capability of chopping three or four rows of corn. Not every farming operation in the early 1980s required the size and capability of the Model 2100, and in 1982, Sperry New Holland introduced its second Whopper chopper, the Model 1900. This machine offers the same basic design and heavy-duty components as the larger 2100. The 1900 Whopper chopper was manufactured from 1982 through 1987. Initially, it was produced by Sperry New Holland in 1986, Sperry sold its New Holland Agriculture Division to Ford Motors. Ford New Holland continued to produce the 1900 until the company updated it to the Model 1915 for model year 1988. The 1900 self-propelled forge harvester is powered by a Caterpillar 3306 DIT six-cylinder inline diesel engine rated at 250 horsepower. This machine features hydrostatic control with a four forward and reverse transmission with the capability of traveling from zero to 17 miles per hour. This machine is fitted with a 118 gallon diesel fuel tank. It features a 181 inch throat opening where crop material is fed in to the forge harvester for processing. 
The material is chopped up by a 12 knife, 25 and a half inch under beveled spiral knife cutter head that runs at 850 RPM. This cutter head can process crop material including haylage and corn silage into sizes ranging from 2 and 1 fourth inches down to 3 sixteenths of an inch. The 1900 Whopper Chopper weighs in at 15,600 pounds. The original price tag for a two-wheel drive model was $101,107. Customers looking for added traction to tackle muddy harvest conditions could order the 1900 as a four-wheel drive model. The original price tag for a four-wheel drive 1900 Whopper Chopper was $108,716. New Holland developed an exclusive and cost-effective interchangeable crop head system for the Whopper Choppers that features one auger base that accepts both the corn head and the super sweep windrow pickup. The New Holland 919 auger base for the 1900 Whopper Chopper came with a price tag of $3,302. The W4 6 foot 9 inch windrow pickup attachment had a price tag of $2,699. The 4 row R4 corn head came with a price tag of $9,661. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the South Central Michigan hayfield with the New Holland 1900 Whopper Chopper. I'd like to know if you have used a Whopper Chopper or other New Holland forge harvester in your farming operation. Tell me about it in the comment section below this video. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.